So we went to the party, and it was quite an affair. The feast was brought in to the accompaniment of the blowing of conch shells and the waving of flags. These tribes had come down from the mountains, carrying their buffet lunch with them. fell in with the spirit of the occasion, which was one of gaiety. There were no formalities, no waiters, just food and plenty of it. The hostess of the Society Islands doesn't have to worry about the family plate of silver but there's a manner of licking the fingers which indicates your social status. And then another tribe arrived, and not to be outdone, went into a dance. It was much more entertaining than our own custom of after-dinner speeches. Mrs. Vanderbilt and I cruised about the harbor in an outrigger canoe before landing on the beach for a visit to the village. And then we're welcomed once more by the inevitable dance. They call it the Siva Siva here, and it is a trifle more elaborate than the dances of the Society Islands. The pilot boat picks us up, and having navigated the channel under the pilot's skillful guidance, we soon are ashore to view some of the scenery of which the Australians are so proud, including the beautiful Barren Falls. At Palm Island, located on the Great Barrier Reef, we paid a visit to the Aborigines, who once had a reputation for savagery. They are amazingly skillful with the boomerang and extremely expert with spears. They have a strange falsetto chant. The markings upon their bodies indicate the tribes from which they originated. <laughs> 
Later, we visited Borbador Temple, an imposing structure built of volcanic rock, and of all the Buddhist remains in Java, the most famous. It was built about the 8th century and partially destroyed by the Mohammedan invaders. Attached to the lines leading from the launch are two planks set at such an angle that when the launch moves ahead, the boards, due to the pressure of the water, keep the mouth of the net open. The lower edge of the mouth is weighted with lead, the upper part floated with corks. An inner funnel prevents the catch from escaping. We do not trawl at depths greater than 15 fathoms. the pyramids with the awe that everyone feels in the presence of objects of great antiquity and wondered how it was possible to build them without modern mechanical aid some 4,000 years ago. If the Sphinx knows the secret of their construction, she revealed no hint of it to us. This waterway across the Isthmus of Corinth is one of the most interesting in the world. It was begun by the Roman Emperor Nero, but was not actually completed until 1893. It is about four miles long and gives us a very little clearance. We pass under the Athens and Corinth Railway Bridge. And now, home at last, with Albert safely at anchor, we visit the Marine Museum, where our 3,900 trophies of this voyage will be added to the collection. Amongst the fish shown here are the Pacific squirrel fish, the angel fish, the bump head, the snapper, the rasp, the surgeon fish, the spotted puffer, and the queen trigger. <laughs> 